Praise the Lord! Welcome everyone to another episode of the Journey Through Apostolic Succession. In CCC 96, it says, What Christ entrusted to the Apostles, they in turn handed on by their preaching and writing, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, to all generations, until Christ returns in glory. So today we hear about our 117th Pope in Apostolic Succession. That is Pope Benedict IV. He served as pontiff for more than 1,200 days. So let's hear about some facts. The papacy of the Pope began on February 1, 980, and his papacy ended when he died on 90380. Pope Leo V succeeded him as the next Pope. It is said that he likely received his calling early in life and devoted himself to the Church. Pope Formosus appointed him a priest at some point. His generosity, his zeal for the public good, are loudly commended by the contemporary historian Fredoard, who gives him the title of great. So let's hear about some contributions. Pope Benedict IV excommunicated the ruler of Flanders soon after becoming Pope. He was a Christian and went by the name Baldwin II Flanders. Folk of Realms, an archbishop, was killed by Baldwin II. He was excommunicated by the Pope shortly after the murder. The other act that Pope Benedict IV performed was the crowning of the next Holy Roman Emperor. He gave the position to Louis of Provence. During his final days, Pope Benedict IV granted privileges to several monasteries and showed his sympathy to some monks and others driven from their homes by invaders. Death Pope Benedict IV died in Rome during the summer of 903 AD. It is possible that there was some foul play related to his death. Pope Benedict IV was buried in front of St. Peter's Basilica by the gate of Gudo. He was followed by Pope Leo V. And that's all for today. Thank you all for listening. And as always, please stay tuned for our next episode. And please remember to like, share, and spread the word to everyone around you. For Christ and for the church.